Hello, friends! Today, we'll learn about the human skull. I see you have an assignment on the topic. Let me help you with this. Hmm. When you ride a bike, you wear a helmet to protect your head. They reduce the risk of serious injury or death. You can say that the skull is like a natural helmet for the brain, because it protects it. It supports the anatomy of the face, and provides a chamber that protects the brain. Suppose you accidentally hit your head against a tree or some other object. Your skull protects you from serious internal head injuries. If you touch directly beneath your eyes, you can sense the ridge of the bone that forms the hole where your eye sits. The skull fixes the distance between the ears and between the eyes. This allows stereoscopic vision, meaning the ability of human eyes to see the surroundings through a three-dimensional view with two eyes. Now, we will see the anatomy of the skull. The skull is made of a number of flat, joined bones. Its bones contain dense minerals, which will make them hard and able to resist blows and impacts. The adult skull is made up of 22 bones, 8 cranial bones, and 14 facial bones. Cranial bones surround and protect the brain. There are two divisions of cranial bones, the cranial roof and the cranial base. The cranial roof consists of the frontal, occipital, and two parietal bones. The cranial base is composed of the frontal, sphenoid, ethmoid, occipital, parietal, and temporal bones. Now let's have a look at the facial bones. The facial bones serve as protection for the brain, the organs responsible for smell, sight, and taste. Let me explain about the various facial bones one by one. Zygomatic. They form the cheekbones of the face and articulates with their frontal, sphenoid, temporal, and maxilla bones. Lacrimal. These are the smallest bones of the face. They form part of the medial wall of the orbit. Nasal. These are the two slender bones that are located at the bridge of the nose. Inferior nasal conchi. They are located within the nasal cavity. These bones help to filter and humidify the air that you breathe. Palatine. These L-shaped facial bones are situated at the rear of oral cavity and forms part of the hard palate. Maxilla. These comprise part of the upper jaw and hard palate. They hold the tooth roots and form most of the nasal aperture and floor, most of the hard palate, and the floors of the orbits. Zomer. It performs the posterior aspect of the nasal septum, supports the structure of the nasal passages and face. Mandible, or jaw. It forms the lower jaw and acts as a receptacle for the lower teeth. It is the largest and strongest bone in the face. Look closely. Male skulls tend to be heavier, larger, and thicker than female skulls. Female skulls are more rounded, and the mandible protrudes less. Now you know a lot about the human skull. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.